Can you get all that emotion, though, if it's something that you haven't necessarily experienced personally? Because, yeah, you can, because you don't actually take the lyrics um, literally. You just put your own experiences into, into something. You, I mean, in your care, for instance, it's about child abuse, but it's also about children that are abused in other, other ways. And so, to me, I was felt very strongly, as I was talking earlier about my childhood, I felt very cheated in a way, um, being at school and not having good teachers at school. There's many people that live, that um, come from homes and they go to school every day and they, they have a really hard time of it. They get bullied or they get picked on because they don't look right or they, they haven't got the latest fashion of clothing. And it, that seems pathetic now when you're older, but when you're young, it really makes a big, imp it, it leaves a big impression on you. My name's Tasmin Archer. Hello. <laughs> when we first started out, the lyrics and the music weren't that good. It was very, very, very poppy, with no meaning to it, really. It was, I love you, you love me, and let's have a cup of tea, and all that kind of stuff. It was awful. I just want to die. <laughs> I felt that I didn't want to sing about things like that. I wanted to sing about things that mattered, really, or mattered to me, or things that I wanted to work out, and that we needed a, a certain sound as well. And so we worked on that for a long, long time, and um, for at least three years. Do you want to try that? Can you do it now, so quick? Uh, not for Frank. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Why don't you go out and do one job and then come back to it when you've got a bit of time? Move on and come back. During that time, at the end of the three years, we were writing things like Sleeping Satellite and In Your Care and Steel Town and things like that, which were the early ones. <laughs> no, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Honest to God, I wasn't.
are very quiet, very quiet. special guest. Welcome to Chicago, Tasman Archer. Thank you. It's good to see you. Thank you. And we've been listening to your, tr uh, I tell you what, this is, we should tell you from the outset that this is one of those that uh, the people here in the building called a one listen. Now, so if you don't work in radio, it's one of those things that's like, we put it in the, in the player and that's it. We had to put it on the radio. So, and that was a pretty much unanimous opinion amongst those of us who were like, into new material, and I know this is all old material to you, but... Uh, oh, no, I'm still very flustered. <laughs> okay, well, listen, uh, we're going to sit down and talk to Tasman and uh, find out a little bit more about you, and uh, you're just here in town saying hello, and uh, you're going to stop off at Excalibur tomorrow night, right? That's right. Okay. Everything seems possible here, and so you lose sense of reality and what's a dream and what isn't, you know. And everything's so large, and everybody's larger than life. Depending on where you go in America, like LA is kind of that's unreal. I mean, I, I just didn't know where I was. I had a panic attack in the hotel room, actually. It's the truth. We arrived, and um, we were in this, we we're in a room which was. Um, it seemed like the basement room that they'd given us, you know. I thought, oh, charming. <laughs> but it was a nice room, but very dimly lit. And it was hot outside, and I just felt like claustrophobic, you know. It was just awful. 